851, contact Fort Worth Center, 120.27. 120.27, rank 51. One Kilo Roman, if you have time, give me your personnel on board and fuel remaining in minutes. I understand you're losing power, but if you have time, give that to me. Uh, roger that. We have uh, two hours fuel, one so. Okay, and, then, and let me know if you want to go to Abilene. That's your option. It's at your 12 o'clock, about 45 miles right now. Roger that. We'll uh, try that. Uh, we're just trying to glide on down. Kill Romeo. We also have Astromont real close. I can give you some uh, some statistics on that if you want it. Yeah, can you give me some weather? I'll, I'll look at that. Okay, let me get it for you. Stand by. That, my friends, is a legitimate emergency. Single engine plane, engine out. He's going to try and get down to Abilene. I think they're uh, they're definitely socked in, maybe about 2,000 foot overcast or so. I just flew over it a couple minutes ago. And uh, that guy just lost his engine. He's going down. So we're going to uh, stay on the radio here, and we'll see what he does. Pray that he makes it. Um, and I'll keep you posted. And his call sign was 21 Kilo Romeo. I'm not sure what type of airplane it was. And uh, uh, 21 Kilo Romeo Astromont's off your uh, 2 o'clock, about 5 miles south of you. I'm going to get to the information right now. It's a hard, surf uh, hard surface, 4,000 feet long, uh, runway 17 and 35. And uh, like I said, it's off your uh, about your 2 o'clock, 2 to 3 o'clock, now 5 miles. Uh, roger that. Uh, we're just where I am see right now, just trying to head her on down. Thank you, Romeo. Roger, let me know if you need anything else. All right, thank you. That IMC means that he's in the clouds, so he's just gliding down in the clouds, trying to figure out. I think if I was him, I'd be asking what the ceilings are at that airport to see if he'd have enough room to break out and then do a visual approach to that runway. Number four, X-ray Bravo, contact Abilene approach one two seven point two. Hey, one kilo Romeo, just complete engine failure. Is that what you have? That's firm kilo Romeo. The controller is giving him altitude. His edge is out. He's going to keep going down. That's a firm. Abilene approach is calling the fire department over at uh, Fox Truck. There, but if you want to go there, that's a good option for you. All right, we'll uh, let's stretch it out. See if we can get there. And one kilo Romeo uh, Sanford's off your pressure uh, one o'clock to sixteen miles now. Roger that. Thank you. I have it pulled up on the GPS. I'll take it as long. I go over here and see if I can hear him. Sister One Kilo Romeo, this is Abbott Post on guard, Central Law Frequency. Stanford Air Force is a 130 bearing at two and a half miles from your position now. It's under two tier X-ray, you got time for a question? Uh, yeah, two tier X-ray, good. That guy that was going down over Abilene, do you know what happened to him? He landed safely. Awesome, thanks a lot. Heck, he did awesome. He, glide, he glided in from 21,000 feet to land there, even did a down when It was pretty amazing. That's awesome. That's good to hear. I heard the whole thing, and then I heard him lose radio with him. Wasn't sure what happened. You know what type of airplane it was? 
Let me see if I can remember. Hold on. It was a C-10 Tango, C-10 Tango. Okay, thanks, uh, C-Sector. That single engine turbo prop. Glad to hear he made it. I heard the whole thing.